morning, the Seattle Fire Department is working to figure out what caused three boats to go up in flames at the Park Shore Marina. King 5's Farah Jadron is live in Seattle where it happened. Farah, what do we know so far? Well, Shantae, at one point, Seattle firefighters told me a few people were trapped on the dock when those fires were happening. Thankfully, they were brought to safety and no injuries reported from overnight through this morning. Three boats badly damaged. Two of them went underwater. One of them's just hanging on to stay afloat. Uh, besides that, also one of the buildings here at the marina is uh, badly damaged as well. I want to bring in the spill responder with the state ecology department, Rob Reed. Uh, you guys got a busy day ahead of you. Uh, the firefighters got a boom into the water for the oil and the fuel. How crucial is that to get that into the water right away? Oh, it was very crucial and we're very, th very thankful for that. Being our resource partner, our first responders out there, um, that they have time to take that action, especially when their main concern is the safety of it. So, but it helps us out because it was initial containment. And out of these vessels, it was held into that sausage zone to recover it easy and keep like Washington um, from having too much of an impact. And you've talked with the yacht club uh, owner already and, and marina officials. Uh, what's the process from here in terms of getting things out of the water and making sure things are safe? First, we want to secure the source and then we want to clean up any surface water pollution. And so our, um, we've been taking steps to hire a contractor and work with the responsible party, the owner of the vessel, are responsible for the fire. And he's hired a contractor who's on scene now, taking a look and assessing what they can do. All right, divers will get on underwater, check things out. Yes, uh, divers may not be necessary actually because it's not that deep, so they may be able to sing the tank from up above or funnel out uh, the fuel from the tanks. But there's a significant amount within the boom on the water that we're trying to pull out first, too, to just get a better uh, picture of what's going on. And Rob, with beautiful weather, a lot of people are out on their boats. What reminders do you have for boat owners of what they can do in the event something like this happens? Well, please, please just be prepared with spill kits and numbers for uh, our response agencies. Uh, we have the NRC, which is 1-800-424-8802, and that'll notify us. And so have that ready. So if they see any pollution, they give us a call because then we can get on uh, right away with them and discuss what we can do about keeping pollution out of the water. All right, Rob Reed with the State Ecology Department. Thank you so much for your time this thank morning. You. They've got a busy day ahead of them. Uh, again, no injuries here. That's the good news. Three damaged boats, uh, all a total loss and again some damage to that building there. Uh, the investigation has not come forward with any exact cause just yet, but from what I'm hearing with firefighters uh, talking with us on the scene, it doesn't sound like anything suspicious was a part of the cause. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadron, King 5 News.